Hey, it's Seth, and today I am going to be showing you how to create simple texture replacement mods for things such as your phone, bag, and even a van in the game of Payday 3. I will not be showing you how to make animated textures, however, but it's not too much harder than a simple texture replacement. It just requires Unreal Engine. I am also making this video under the assumption you already have set up a mods folder beforehand. If you haven't set up basic modding yet, I suggest you do so first. Anyway, first off, you need four things. First is an image editing software, such as Photoshop or GIMP. GIMP is free and open source, whereas Photoshop is not, but it also has a bunch of other features. So whichever you are comfortable with, have it downloaded. Next up, you also need three things for making mods. F model, repack, and DDS tools. Now, if you want to do more than just simple texture replacement, such as animated textures or complete remodeling, like I said before, you're going to need Unreal Engine 4.27. But, like I said, we're going to be doing simple texture replacement mods and making those. When you go to download DDS tools, I also suggest you download the GUI version. But, if you are much more knowledgeable about programming and things, you can download the other version. But, for this to be as simple as possible, the GUI version works perfectly fine. Once you have all these downloaded, I suggest making a modding folder, where you can have all this stuff at. Trust me, when I say it will make this all much easier when it's organized. Now unzip those files you have downloaded. Do this in the modding folder you just created, and now you should have fmodel, repack, and dds tools with the gui.exe. fmodel will have this output folder, which will be very important for later. First, open up fmodel and set up the directory. First, by clicking the add undetected game, and finding the Payday 3 game file area in your Steam apps. This can be done quite easily by going to Steam, right-clicking on Payday 3, manage and click Browse Local Files. When you do this, select the game folder specifically, the whole, th the whole game. This next part is slightly trickier. Now that you have selected this and everything, you now have access to the game files once you click Load, at least to some degree. It probably will only show you other mods you have installed and maybe a few others and possibly even a few files. In order to see all files in the game like you see on mine, you must insert an AES key. Now, what I did was look up an AES key and put it into this prompt. But if you want, you can go through the process of obtaining your own key, which you will probably have to figure out how to do. However, if you don't want to do the AES key stuff, you do not have to because you can simply use the pack mod files that you have downloaded and inserted into the game as they will appear here. What I mean by that is if you have an AES key and have gotten into the payday files, we can go in and find the texture file you want to change, such as the phone, uh, the van, a car, basically everything in the game with a texture file can be completely replaced. So if you want to personal, uh, personalize everything, then there you go. But it'll be a bit harder to find every specific file. Or if you haven't an A or if you haven't an AES key, like I said before, if you have mods installed, such as a phone screen mod, a van texture mod, any of that, you can then click load, look for the phone screen with alpha, right click, and save texture. This will make a Payday 3 folder in the export section where you have the modding stuff at. And at the very end of the export section in the Payday 3 thing, you will find the texture file you just saved from FModel. Do not change the folders here or move them around. It will make things easy if you don't. From here, you could simply take this PNG and edit it. But to make it easier, you could just go to the mod workshop where there's a bunch of different template mods for things such as the helicopter, uh, phones, basically literally everything. And look for a phone screen template or anything that you're looking for. Download the zip and unzip and open either the Photoshop file or the GIMP one. 
Any of the ones that you see here that I'm using, I will put in the description. These template makers are very nice as they made the file extremely easy to change and move around. For simplicity's sake, we're going to simply change the whole screen on each of these to Spider-Man 2 photos because that game is extremely cool. You can do whatever you want here. It is simply up to your creative freedom and how good you are with GIMP, really. It is extremely easy to learn, so just try your best. Do whatever you want. Once you have created your own texture file, you can export it, name it whatever, and now put it in the modding folder or wherever, as long as you know where it is. Next up is DDS Tools and F Model again. First off, open up DDS Tools. This is what the GUI DDS Tools look like. At the bottom, make sure yours matches mine. The UE version should be this, and the options should be this. Now you're gonna see these three things here. The first one is probably empty for you, and the second one, it should also be empty for you. If not, do not fret. Now, open back up F model, or if you had it minimized, make sure you open it back up, and find the texture file you want to change again. This time, instead of right-clicking it and saving the texture, right-click on it again, and this time you're going to click Export Raw Data. Now let's go back to the Payday 3 folder in Exports, that in the modding folder that we have, and you will find these three new files, alongside, of course, the texture file, if you exported that too. If not, then perfect. If there is a texture file you exported or something similar, Simply take it out or delete it and take the new image you made and put it in here. You don't really need to do this, but my OCD is telling me yes. So yes, you do. It's mandatory. Now back to the DDS tools. You can click on the browse next to you asset file and find the file you just exported from F model for the phone. It should be this. Now the texture file. Browse and look for your image you just created. Once you have selected that, go ahead and browse for the output and put it in the modding folder so you know where to look. Then click inject. It should generate new files. Go there, take the new U asset files along with the other ones it generated and replace all the all the old ones where the original files were. I did this by deleting the old ones and putting these ones in here. Boom. Now, you basically need to take this and wrap it up in a nice, neat present for the game to recognize. Or, in short, you need to pack it up. <laughs> All right, so back to the modding folder. Now, go to exports. See how the Payday 3 folder is here? I want you to make a new folder next to it and name it whatever you want the mod to be called. But make sure you don't have any spaces. I'm going to name mine Spider-Man 2 Phone Mod with no spaces. Now, take the Payday 3 folder, which should have your U asset file you changed a moment ago and injected, as well as the other files that were injected with it, and throw them all into your new mod folder. Simply just take the Payday 3 folder and move it to your mod folder. Great. Now, it's time to pack. Get the repack.exe that you downloaded and bring it to this folder next to your mod folder that you just created. Now, shift right click on repack.exe and click open PowerShell window. This can be a little finicky, but for me it usually works if I click in the middle of the file. This will bring up this console. You are now become hacker. I'm just kidding. But now simply type this dot slash repack R E P A K space P A C K pack space. Then type the name of your mod folder you created for me. It's Spider-Man 2 Phone Mod. Again, with no spaces in the name. Now, click Enter. It should work. Now, if you go to the area where you had repack.exe at, you should have your mod as a pack file. Wow. 
that, that was, was easy. easy. Simply from here, you can take your mod and put it in the mods folder in Payday 3. Make sure you don't have any mods that also do a similar texture replacement, such as if you are if you just made a phone mod, make sure you don't have any other phone mods in here. And you should be good. Now to test. Let's load up No Rest for the Wicked and hack the first guard or camera we see, or find a QR code. As you can see, pretty easy. But now that you've seen how easy it is, we're going to do it again, but really fast. Let's now go through the van and loop bag, just cause. First, create the texture. Like I said, use GIMP or Photoshop. I am going to be using these texture mods from the Mod Workshop to make this much easier. Now, let's extract the raw data of the two textures. It might take a second to find them, whatever you're looking for. But once you find them, right click Raw Data on both of them. See how it's separate in the Payday 3 folder it created? Good. Now, DDS Tools. We are going to do this twice. Once for the bag, and once for the van. Make sure you don't mix them up. That's why I made two folders separate for them. And then I took them and placed them where they needed to be, replacing the old ones that were there. All right, now you are done. Time to repack. First, create the mod folder. As you can see, this is two mods in one. So I'm just gonna call this Van Baggin Mod. Now put the Payday 3 folder in there. And now I'm gonna pack it up. All right, now, I have the .pack file. Once again, just slam that in the Payday 3 Mods folder and boot up a heist. Let's check if the bag worked. Yep. Now the van. Oh yeah. So as you can see, making simple texture mods is not that hard. The hardest thing is really trying to find the exact files in F model. But like I said, you can just download a mod. So feel free to create your own for anything. Anyway, that is going to be it for this Payday 3 texture replacement tutorial. I'm probably not going to make any more of these, I don't think. But I do hope you enjoy the process of making a mod yourself. It was hard for me at first, but now that I know how to do it, it's pretty easy. I also hope you've enjoyed the video. I know it's been a hot moment since the last video, but procrastination is a hell of a drug. And also, I've been dealing with other things, such as a new outro music, and also thinking about more videos I perhaps want to create. But now, I want to talk to you. I want you to know that you matter. And while things can take time, sometimes more time than you want them to, know that in the end, it will be worth it. You might struggle at first, but I believe you can get the hang of it. You can make it through this. And do not be afraid to ask for help if you are struggling. I love you all. Hope you have a wonderful day or night. Stay safe. And I'll see you.